Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? So I'm going to keep this short and sweet, man. I don't need uh, approval from nobody, man. I don't need, I'm in my own lane. I'm my own boss. I want y'all to understand that. You know, ain't nobody, like, listen, what I do with the work I put in my content, what I do is what I do is I, I, I'm the boss of what I do as far as content creation, as far as curating content, as far as live commentary, as far as pro, promo, uh, promo videos, as far as, as far as little mini documentaries, I, I put the work in. Nobody do the work for me, you understand me? So I'm the boss uh, of what I do. And I don't need no approval from no other boxing channel, from no boxing fans. Much love and respect to all those great boxing channels out there and all those great boxing fans, especially those that's a part of this amazing community. But I don't need, no, nobody can tell me what to do. I ain't no, I, I don't have a boss. You know, I'm a, really, I'm a, I'm a king. And no one could tell a king what to say and what to do. You know what I'm saying? And and the only, 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 only kings answer to God. You understand me? So, but I, uh, uh, but I'm gonna just just say this. I respect everybody's uh, the way they see things, they they perspective on things, how they view things, how they how they perceive things, what they see, what they witness, what they observing, uh, and they their opinion. Everybody ha is entitled to an opinion. I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? So you have an opinion. I have an opinion. Whether my opinion become a fact. Or whether your opinion become a fact, or whether I'm speaking speaking the truth, which, uh, in reality, it becomes a fact, and it's the same for you. But at the end of the day, you know, what I'm saying if I saw a fight a certain way, and you saying you saw a fight, nobody can force me to. See, you can't. I can't force you to see it my way, and you can't force me to see it your way. Um, you know, what I'm saying when you try to force a person when they they gonna disagree with you respectfully, disagree with you. You know, what I'm saying you can't force them to see it your way. They uh, it, it, you can't force them to see. Like I can't force you to see it my way. Y'all can't force me to see it y'all way. You can't force that person. You can't force these people to see it your way. Uh, we gonna have disagreements. We're not gonna always uh, uh agree. Uh, we can we can uh, respectfully uh, agree to disagree. Uh, so at the end of the day, you know, what I'm saying I can respect every boxing man, uh, every boxing fan opinion, uh, every content creator. Uh, which at this at this moment when you have a uh. Well, you have a, a certain fan base of, of, of 3,000 or higher, 5,000 or higher, 10,000 or higher. You know, it's because this is a group of people that subscribe to your channel because um, these are could be histor historians and people that that's the hardcore boxing fans, not, you know, casual. However, I don't like to use all those terms, but it just be boxing fans because they enter the sport, whether they've been into the sport one year, two years, three years, four years, or six months. You know, so less than a year or 10 years or 30 years or however long. But at the end of the day, I've been watching boxing, man, since I was four or five years old. In and out of my pops had me in and out of boxing gyms probably when I was like five or six years old, just playing around, watching them train and, you know, and um, get the workout in and learn the basics and learn the fundamentals and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And I got in there and started doing things, tournaments and stuff as, as a teenager and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so as you can say, slightly a student of the game, you know, in a way. But not so I can understand in maybe ways that people ain't gonna understand that y'all ain't gonna understand. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know I can be observing from from a real true boxing eye, and that's only a small percentage. No disrespect to no other boxing channel in the YouTube box community. So at the end of the day, I knew it was coming. Just to, it's just to land the plane and make a long story short. I knew it was coming. You know what I mean? Canelo was a great fighter. Edgar Belonga, he he just get like this is a learning experience. This is this major, the biggest test I think it will be the, the the biggest test ever in his entire professional career. Um, even maybe even retiring as a as a uh, as a uh, as a as a future future Hall of Fame or whatever. I, I pray it, 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 all that unfolds with his kid. He's a monster. He's a problem. He's a threat. You know, for these guys to say that oh he's a he's a C level fighter or he's a D level fighter. That's your opinion. I can say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm respectfully, uh, honestly disagree. I'm a honestly disagree. Respectfully disagree. And I can never see a man that that that, that uh as, as a 24. I don't know if he's 25, 26, or maybe 24. Or 25 or something like that, or 26. Very young man has so much room to improve. I've seen the adjustments. I've seen how he further sharpened his skills and perfect his craft. Only two two little minor issues when it comes to this kid. But he got so much room to transition and grow and evolve to something I, I believe, strongly believe and feel. And I could be wrong. So it's something I strongly believe and feel he will become. So I knew that I knew you're gonna have these certain minds, right? Let's say 
uh, he's not that great. Because it's really, honestly, if you want to, if you want to be technical, if you want me to be truthful about the situation, it could be. And I ain't saying this ain't the case. I ain't saying this is the case for everybody. But certain people have something against Canelo Alvarez. They have something against Canelo Alvarez. It, it could be, it could be a few things. And then I'm not going, I'm not going to um, present that on here because I, 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 if I have to, if I need to go, if I need to go there, I go there. But at the end of the day. It, it could be a few things, you know what I'm saying? But what you can't do and what you cannot deny and what you cannot and what you cannot fix your mouth and, and, and honestly say, if you know, really know the sport of boxing, if you were true boxing fans, see, because the thing is, look, I respect the legends. Some legends, you know, uh, I'll give him his credit, like um, Roberto Duran, one of my favorite fighters, legendary fighters in the history of the sport. You know, uh, seeing so much footage, footage of him, you know what I'm saying, growing up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was even like a lot of my guys and people, my family, friends was able to emulate even his style and things in the boxing gyms. So the thing is, you talking about a legend like that started to give Canelo his flowers, his roses to now acknowledge that he because he may have not seen it before. But now we see it now because you can have other legendary fighters might disagree other Mexican, you know, legends and stuff and things of that nature, Hall of Famers or whatever. And I could say maybe it could be a slight little slight jealous because maybe it could be some things Canelo was good at and ways he was good at as far as the, the abilities, the, the, the boxing abilities, certain techniques as, as far as as far as the fundamental or, 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 or then getting and then enhancing until elite level skill. It was some areas when it comes to 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 uh, being a professional fighter and being a professional boxer and some areas uh, as far as skill set on, on a certain skill, elite level skill level that he was better than some of them legends in. You know what I'm saying? They say boxing evolved over time. I mean, yeah, it's in some areas it did in some ways it did. But it could be certain performances to be like, okay, the total toe, the total toe, the walker fighter down, through throw a lot of punches per round. We love that entertaining, you know what I'm saying? But it's certain elements that over time that boxing was able to discover and, and, and tap into. And you can honestly say it became more advanced in ways that certain fighters was able to present that you can also appreciate and love and 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 um uh, allow you to love the sweet science. When you say sweet science, right? The sweet science and love and uh, appreciate uh, boxing uh, much more. You know, so of course we want knockouts. Knockouts number one. When it's toe to toe in the pocket, when it's in the in, inside in the inside fault, especially when you have two technicians properly putting their punches together with beautiful punch selection, beautiful punch placement, properly throwing accumulation of punches within combinations, mixing up the attack from body to head, boom boom, inside slip and rolling. I love all those beautiful things when it comes to the boxing. So when we get that from Canelo Everest, I guess that don't be enough. So I get it. It's, it's you know we have the uh, the business side, the politics, the money. They didn't get to get they didn't get to the point where they want to be comfortable. They want to secure the big bag once they have put themselves in certain positions. And and sometimes we like to crucify the fighter, even in history for a long history of time. We blame this fighter or Sugar Ray or Rigor Ray Leonard for ducking this certain fighter and not knowing that he wasn't the only one. The uh that uh that um he was he was not the only one. Uh, pretty much uh, when the, regarding to not being able to get to cert get certain fights, he wasn't the only one involved. He was involved as a fighter. But at the end of the day, did he have the power and control? Did he have uh, the power to really push in a way the word of mouth? But you got to understand, every fighter in the history of the sport most definitely has to sign a contract. Now, I'm not finna get to exposing nothing like no mob or no 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 cartel. I'm not finna get to expose no powerful secret society groups or uh, very powerful trillionaires, billionaires and trillionaires. I'm not finna expose no no high powerful uh, 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 religious man or group that, that even own a lot more than what people think they own and have access and really control. I'm not finna go there because I can go deep into it and really change your whole understanding, your whole perspective real fast, real quick like. You know what I'm saying? Because some, be, some of us can be deeper, a lot deeper than what y'all think into a lot of things that y'all probably didn't have no clue about. So all I'm saying is that <laughs> I knew it was coming. Edgar Belonga ain't this type of fighter. He never was great because Canelo was able to beat him. And it was a, a war. It was a battle. He he did. He came to perform. He didn't eat. Um, he went up against a more of experienced veteran, an elite level uh, fighter, one of, the, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, elite level with all, with a lot of experience, with the power, with the skills, um, and and was and, and it's just so dominant, you know what I'm saying? And then just got it's a complete fighter. They say Canelo is not good at doing that. Um, no, 
I've seen some things that he didn't really have to do in the ring and, and some things he did do in the ring and some people didn't even care to pay attention because they so used to him dominating guys and destroying guys and knocking them out. So they kept, they, 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 they left out looking at certain little... So that's why I, be, I do film study, right? I do film study, I slow down fights, you know what I'm saying? I, I analyze, I observe, and I analyze the situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't just word of mouth to sound good. Put, you know, use big words to sound good, make it sound good because I'm good at speaking. I got the gift of gab. All that, that garbage don't work. That garbage is going to get you so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if I ever get to 100K or uh, I'll say 50 to 100K followers and it's easy for me to do, all I got to do is to put in the work. I got a powerful team. So I can bypass, you know, I can get up there with fight height. Them my boys, I can get up with fight height, fight hood. Them my boys, we, we connect. You know what I'm saying? I can get up there with them channels. I can get up there, you know what I'm saying, with the Blue Buzz Sports TVs. I can get up there with the, you know, with the, with a lot of these big channels. I can get up there. The show biz is adult, you know what I'm saying? Cool cat, man. Talked to him a few times behind the scenes in the past. Cool cats. Uh Kirk DeVille. Kirk kind of punch kind of kind of punch boxing new solid cat. Real good his boxing historian right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh 10 players. No, I'm naming legends now. You know, uh Ring IQ. You know, cool cat, man. Real good, real good brother right there, man. I've connected with over the a few years, man. So it's a lot of great channels. Box Wave. I can name plenty. Punch Drunk. I can name plenty, you know, GT3 the Boom, man. It's a lot of great channels. And I got love for everybody, man. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to always see it. Even my brothers that I just mentioned, even they wait. I'm not going to always see it. They wait. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to see it the way I see it and how I, uh, I, how I analyze and how I evaluate the situation. I'm only going to see it how I see it. From a professional eye, from professional eyes, for an expert, from expert eyes of my, of me observing, of me witnessing, of me, you know, going over the, going over in my, from my observation. You know what I'm saying? Edgar Belanga is a beast. This is a learning experience. He's grow. He's on. He's only gonna get better from this because he came and he fought. He came. He stood his ground. He made it an entertaining, electrifying fight. He came. He went to war. Canelo just Alvarez just had the edge when it came to experience and skill. You know what I'm saying? And so Edgar Belanga came. He, Edgar Belanga came and he put on a great performance. He came to fight. He came to go to war, and win all twelve, and and, and, and made it an exciting, and very competitive fight in ways to really push and challenge Canelo. Look at my boy Canelo's face. And I'm gonna end with this. Canelo Alvarez is one of my favorite fighters. So is Terrence Bud Crawford. One of my favorite fighters. He's my number one pound for pound fighter in the world. They up there within the mix between Monster in a way, one of my favorite fighters. Um, Alexander Usyk, one of my favorite heavyweight fighters. Um, Canelo Alvarez, Canelo, uh, Terrence Crawford, they all up in uh, all up in there. However you want to, in whatever order. You know what I'm saying? For far as pound for pound, the top pound for pound fighters in the world. My thing is this. You know what I'm saying? This is my thing. Terrence Bud Crawford is a great fighter, and I love the, I love that, I love my little bro. That's like a little bro right there. I love the, I love the, I love the guy. One of the best fighters in the history of the sport. So is Canelo. So is David Benavidez, a great fighter as well. A lot of people mention they want to see David. Me too. I want to see Canelo versus David Benavidez. I want to see the the two these two monsters collide. Canelo Alvarez, you know. And so when I say when I say old lion versus young lion, I'm not calling Canelo old. I'm not calling these fighters old. You know what I'm saying? These dudes ain't older than me, so they not old. And I, can, I don't see myself as old. And, you know, and I'll be 40 next year. So at the end of the day, I just say old lion, mean veteran. You know what I'm saying? Versus young lion. You know, y'all get what I'm saying, man. But real boxing fans know what I'm saying. So I want to see that. Canelo Everest, if they fight this year. Or next year, Canelo beats David Benavidez, and I love the I love David. He's a monster. He can beat Canelo. He has what it takes to beat Canelo, but he's not going to beat him. I don't see it, and I could be wrong. Canelo Everest versus Terrence Bud Crawford, great fight. <clears throat> that's that's a that's a uh, in 50, 50, 50 in ways that they can beat each other. But if I had to say who will win, I say Canelo beats Crawford. Maybe my two two slight advantages that give him the edge because they both highly dangerous and skilled monstrous boxer puncher technically sound inside fighters outside fighters they complete package man both <laughs> y'all just stop disrespecting this sport man stop disrespecting these fighters and they're giving us what we asking for y'all watching if you if you if you if you if you if you complain and complain this ain't enough they ducking this and ducking that ducking that and not forgetting who's really who's really in the shadows calling the shot i'll leave y'all to think about that i'm out